who's in the semifinal round of a regional tournament in California. This is Emmanuel McKinday. <clears throat>
question. How can I apply the concept of that to the most colorful concept? Inspired by the real debate instilled in me, I now use my position as a varsity debater and captain in the Washington Center for Debating to help other debaters find adventure in their species. As a future global healthcare reformist, I will use what debate taught me to explore new paradigms and save her eliminating disorder within the healthcare system. As a student, a brother, and an advocate for my community, I aim to afford those around me the same revelation that they afforded me. Do not let someone else's skewed perspective about life influence our behaviors. Now when I find myself holding the second place trophy at the end of the debate, I am reminded of my four-year-old self. Because while I'm still engrossed in my ambition to win, my value remains on the joy I find from being able to discover new arguments, a new orientation of thoughts and ideologies. I'm no longer the middle school who invented adventure, but a culmination of development, constantly looking for adventure in all of my other students. So let me leave you with that question. I was asked to speak about why debate is good, but I can't answer that question. I can answer why debate is good for me. It helped me rediscover my former self, but I don't know why debate is good for me. So the question I want us all to think about is, why is debate good for you? What has debate done for you that you value? What does debate do for you that you find anywhere else? You can't find anywhere else. It may take a while to answer these questions, but once you do, debate becomes more beautiful than just an activity. It becomes something far more beautiful, something that brings you fulfillment. That's my time, and I'm over for